be decorating and Christmas decorating for the house. I thought I'd bring you along to show you how I make my chili. I start with two pounds of hamburger. And I also have two cans of red beans that I've canned. And then I just have a couple seasoning packets uh, for chili. I got the Food Lion brand. And I'm gonna put this together. I've, to the meat already, I've added some garlic. And I'm gonna cook this down. If it's really greasy, I'm gonna go ahead and drain it, of course, because it's a lot of fat. Sometimes with the fat, it will cook down and out. And sometimes it won't. I've seen people do that, at least render it down. <clears throat> but basically what you do uh, is you brown your meat really good. And you add your seasoning packs, mix it into the meat. And then you add your beans. One of the things with my beans, I can them. So I keep, I actually leave the liquid that's on my beans in my chili. It makes for a very um, delicious chili. You can do it with store-bought beans also. It, it gives it a different flavor. It smooths out the chili in a different way. And it gives it kind of a body. And if you don't do it with both, say you put two cans in, like one of my jars I'm going to drain and the other one I'm gonna leave the, uh, the, the juice from the beans in it. Okay, so I did drain some of the fat off, it was a lot. But one of the things I like to do with my seasoning is I like to cook it into the meat a little bit because it kind of roasts all the, the um, seasoning and the heat before the sauce hits it. And it makes it for a really good chili. And I like my meat smaller pieces. So I just do that for, you know, a few minutes, let it heat those spices up. Okay, to my, um, to my meat, I went ahead and added both my two quart jars plus the liquid. And then I added a half a quart, about two cups of water to this. And I'm gonna cook it down. That's got two seasoning packs of the chili se seasoning mix, two quarts of beans with liquid, two pounds of meat, and about a cup and a half to two cups of water. I may add some more seasoning to this. I'm, I'm not gonna taste test it right now. I'm gonna let it come up to a simmer and let it simmer for 30 minutes. But it's as easy as that. Okay, so I've added my two, ca uh, two jars of beans and I left the, the liquid in. I've got two seasoning packets of chili pack and then I've got two pounds of ground beef I also added two cups of water. And now I'm gonna let this simmer for a while. And it probably about 30, 40 minutes before I'll check it for taste, you know, and see how, if it needs anything else, such as seasonings. Now you could also add some other things such as corn, uh, drained and rinsed black beans. And you could, you know, dial it up that way. And it's really delicious that way. This way, the way I'm making it, I'm gonna make chili dogs. So I want it to thicken really well. You can also, with this one, make chili cheese fries. I decided to add two more quarts of beans drained. One of them was pinto and the other was another red bean for chili beans. And then I added a little bit of beef bouillon about a tablespoon, I mean a teaspoon, excuse me, to give it a little more flavor. Like I said, I'm still not going to be uh, taste testing this chili for about 30 more minutes. I'm going to let it simmer. One of the things I like to do to my chili, you see all this foaminess right here? I've added about a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda and I'm letting it cook and it's pulling a lot of the gassiness out of the beans so that hopefully it'll help you not get heartburn. Now, if you had chilies and, you know, jalapenos and things like that, you might still get heartburn, but this might help some. So I thought I'd share it with you that I'm skimming this off. I'll show you what it looks like. 
And I'm just putting it over here in a bowl. And it's just bringing some of that gassiness off the beans. It works with spaghetti sauce also. So when I remember it, I try to do this. There's a lot of foam in there. That's uh, all the gassiness basically that gives you heartburn. After you have all your ingredients in, you're gonna cook this on a simmer for about an hour and a half. And I would stir it about every 15 minutes so that it doesn't burn. Okay, so for a little heat, I added some red chili pepper flakes. They're a Chinese brand and they're crushed. They're really good in it. Only add a little if you have these, they get very hot. And I put some jalapenos and cheese on the top to, for serving it. Um, if you like a more of a tomato based to your chili, I would definitely recommend adding a can of, a large can of uh, tomato puree. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, leave comments. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching. Okay, here we are. Chili cheese dogs. Now this chili would be really good over uh, french fries to make chili fries. It's really good as a bowl of chili with cheese and jalapenos. Um, putting Frito chips on it. Anything like that. Anything your heart desires to top it with. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And leave comments. I'd love to hear from you. God bless and have a wonderful evening.